Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration um, reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising um, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a wonderful week. Um, it's going to be a week of a lot of changes. Changes that we are weren't expecting, but yet still uh, they're here. On the 23rd of September which is today which I'm doing the reading because obviously my angels and guide wanted me to do the readings on this night I had to wait until the 23rd of September because there's a lot of changes spiritually uh, consciously that is happening on this planet at this time um, this week is a 48 week or the 39th week of the year 2017 and um, we have the energy of temperance the week is a hurt week which is the balance week for the last week of September um, the week begins from the 25th until the 1st of October so welcome October and I want to say truly thank you from the bottom of my heart to each and everyone out there I want to say I am so grateful for the support the likes and shares and all the wonderful messages and please continue to share these videos because a lot of us need to be awakened on this planet there's a lot of changes coming in and whenever you got receive this video you're going to be aware that changes you're going to feel the conscious changes and you have a choice whether you choose to vibrate in a positive a vibration or you choose to stay um, in whatever vibration you vibrate okay I'm just here to let you have the message um yeah so it's going to be a week of hair the zodiac energy of hair and earth so this is going to be a real mystical week the hurt energy with the hair that is mystical okay so for you Aquarians let's look and see what is happening please remember just listen to your Sun moon and rising sign for you Aquarius energy of the lovers is here so this is wonderful the devil is in reverse and um, three of arts is in reverse so that is good okay what is going to be your focus for you um, Aquarians in this week you have the four of cups which is wonderful so this week you're going to be balancing out your emotions whatever the situation is you Aquarians are going to be balancing out your emotions in this week this is going to be positive this is a positive card because this is one of the energy vibration where the four of cups is a hand is given him he has three cups on the ground but yet still the universe is stretching out and is going to be giving you Aquarius something and this is going to be very good the next energy that we have balancing out this week for you guys is that we have um, the six two four six eight and one the nine of ones which is spiritually protection the nine of ones so whatever is happening while you're here you know receiving the blessings that is coming in you're being spiritually protected at this time so as I look at your week you Aquarius you have the king of ones in the middle of your reading um, and uh, he's um, he is um, uh, he's gonna give you He's holding out his hand he's going to give you money okay whatever is happening take a look at that whatever is happening okay let's look the energy of the lovers is here there's a lot of money signs um, the men are in the reverse forms for whatever reason that is happening um, the Empress is here which is a major or color nine of swords is in reverse so there is no negative energies that you're thinking about your partner you're going through the motions you have the ten of swords upright but yet still the three of swords in reverse so uh, we need to take a look at that so um, as I can see the lovers is six nine the energy um, you have ten 
um, ace of pentacles 10 the number 10 is going to play a significant role 1 and 10 1 10 11 is going to play a significant role in your life in this week 1 10 and 11 is going to play a significant role in your life this week let's look at what is happening on Monday we have the energy vibration of a fire sign and this fire sign is the knight of ones the knight of ones is someone who is between the ages of 18 um, to 20 20 to, two, uh, to, to 30 30 to 40 okay sometimes it's at 35 but a lot of people are asking what happened to the people between the ages of 20 and 30 but again whenever this night comes up is someone who's between the ages of 18 to 35 so that means 18 and 20 okay whatever is happening these two nights are here and the knight of cups is in the reverse form while the knight of ones is in the upright form what this is saying is that for some people you are going to have a situation with the nine of ones and you are going to battle out the situation and the people who are going to have the situation with the knight of cups because obviously these two energies are here so the knight of ones is the aquarius the libris and the sagittarians and the knight of cups is the pisces the cancers and the scorpion so really as you look at the energy form they're in the reverse because the casanova is in the reverse but yet still this person is with the fire sign is in his passion and standing there but yet still the person in the water the casanova he is in the reverse form so there is a significant situation that is happening here and you ladies and gentlemen need to be aware that whatever is happening here is also happening there that you need to connect with and understand what exactly is the purpose of this because these people will be entering your life on Monday on Tuesday my excuses we have the energy of the nine of swords and nine of swords is always your thought pattern that you are worried and this is very good because you're learning not to worry about things and it's in the reverse form that worries or situation would have gone over a love relationship that you're totally you know you're comfortable whatever it is the worries that you used to have it's no longer there you know you can trust in your partner you know that everything is going to be working out well and this is going to be extremely positive so you know this is wonderful because whatever is happening with you at this moment you're going to realize that uh, your relationship is on good ground so there is no worries about your relationship that is happening in uh, the Tuesday on Wednesday in the middle of the week you have the energy of the Knight of Wands the King of Wands and the King of Wands is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius whoever this King is he has to pay out some money and you have the King of Wands but you also have the King of Pentacles so this is actually wonderful because um, as I've said the double energies and uh, today that I'm doing it has a significant role so there is a lot of information that is coming out here some people will have the effect of the king of wands and some people are going to have the effect of a king of Pentacles who is the king of wands the king of wands is an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius the king of Pentacles he is um the Taurus the Virgo or the Capricorn so you Aquarians are going to be having both um, these men in some effect in your life now be aware of this one yet still you can be a couple with this one but um, this one is a businessman he's you know he's a positive person this could be the father of you guys whatever the situation is and I need to ask a question what is happening why these King because whatever is happening you have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles here you also have the energy of the Knights the two Knights so let's ask and see what exactly 
is going on here it's wonderful because what is happening for you guys is that uh, this young energy is love there, there is love there is love from these two persons whoever these two persons are and however they connect to you there is a sense of love coming some people are going to be in into into intercultural relationship which is um, different um, um, backgrounds okay as we move on on Thursday which is a wonderful day it's a hurt day we have the the female um, coming in uh, this is the M the Empress and whenever she comes in whatever that was blocking your financial situation is now in the reverse so whoever was blocking your financial situation if you found out you weren't um, receiving work whatever the situation is um, you're going to realize that uh, whoever was bl blocking your financial situation whatever it was you were trying to get through get yourself going get situation on the go and all that sort of a thing Whoever that was blocking your situation, it's no more happening. Okay, the energy of the devil is now in reverse. As we move on and we look at Friday, we have the energy of the three of hearts in reverse, but yet still we have the ten of swords upright. So for some people, you are going to have um, a loss of something. You are going to have an heartbreak over something and a loss of something. But for some people. Um, this heartbreak and loss is a lot of lies and people um, lying about stuff there's a lot of lies and people lying about stuff so let's look and see what exactly are, are they lying about because there's a lot of that a lot of truths are going to be okay okay I need you people to see this on Friday you have the three of hearts. The three of hearts is a loss, heartbreak over something. Okay, let me take my glasses off. And whatever is happening, some people, some people are going to have a loss, but some people are going to get over it very quickly. And whatever the loss is, that people are lying. There's a lot of people that have been lying. People haven't been telling the truth. These people call. Call these people are pretending to be your friends, but a lot of them are lying. Okay, they're pretending to be your friends, but a lot of them they're lying. Okay, so be aware of it. Um, whoever comes in your life in this week, um, especially on Friday, um, be aware of whatever is happening because people a lot of people are lying to you and they're pretending to be your friends, but they're not. Okay. In the weekend, the weekend is a positive um, weekend because whatever is happening in the weekend, there is um, money, there is energy vibration of the pentacles. So we have the ace of pentacles and we also have the ten of pentacles on Sunday. So on Saturday, we have the ace of pentacles. On Sunday, we have the ten of pentacles. Now, who are working on Saturday? We have the ten of pentacles with the knight of pentacles and this is wonderful okay so for some people if your partner this could be a winning this could be a winning some people between the ages of 18 and 35 can be also having a winning okay it's a lot for winning this can be also a lot for winning um i would say to you aquarians by the lottery on the weekend um if you are having the ace of pentacles on saturday and uh, um, the Ten of Pentacles on Sunday. It's a favorable weekend to buy the lottery. So whatever you guys are doing, try and buy the lottery. It doesn't really matter if it's just a dollar. You can give out give out the dollar. Maybe the returns are good. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is wonderful because it's new. Your materialistic uh, things is going to be happening and this sort of a thing so it's going to be positive the knight of pentacles is a good sign because um the people between the ages of 18 so 18 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 35 it's a wonderful time your financial situation is going to be in balance but also if you're connected with if you're connected with someone who is a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn this is a positive energy okay it is a very very positive energy as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the ten of Pentacles and um, 
the king of sword in reverse ten of pentacles and king of swords in reverse so for you men this is going to affect you men on the Sunday you men are going to be losing some money on Sunday so be aware of how much are you're going to give out because you are going to be losing some money on Sunday for the women you are going to be receiving the ten of pentacles whatever is happening money is going to be coming to you women but the men have to be aware of what they do on Sunday okay um as I look at your week because sometimes I give the energy vibration of um, work and love sometimes I don't as I look at the first half of the week love is going to be favorably um, a lot of people are not going to be worried about their relationships they're going to realize that you know there's nothing really to re to worry about my relationships I have a stable relationship and the second half of the week uh, it's also a situation where um, in the sense of love or friendship um, and uh, for some people if you are having relationship with people who are um, Aquarius Gemini or Libra be aware um, be aware of people who are um, coming up to you and pretending to be your friends because they're actually not your friends they're lying about something okay there's a lot of secrets people are not being honest about certain things these people are carrying the energy vibration of uh, um, uh, Aquarians and a Gemini or Libra okay so it can be because you're an Aquarians you know they can carry the same energy so you know they're pretending and it's people who you thought were your friends but um, in that case it's not your friend be aware of who they are there's last uh, and the ten of force or whatever is going on here okay love is also very positive for the men and connecting with um, it, it, you know if you're connecting um, with the fire sign people um, with the uh, Aries Leo or uh, Sagittarius it's um, a good a positive a match for the men it is um, a very good Wednesday it's a positive whoever you meet on Wednesday is going vice versa vice versa so this is really positive things so love is positive on Tuesday Wednesday on Friday be aware there are false people coming in your life be aware they have been here um, these false people so um, be aware they'll be coming in your life I'm looking again to find out um, number nine energies are very powerful and it's going to be um, 1 11 and 10 okay um, let's see what the conscious spirit has in mind oh my god balance 29 this is the second time I'm receiving balance for a sign so obviously this week is a, a powerful week so let's see what else came in and you guys got um, transformation I journey within to meet my higher self and to find true happiness so this is good I journey within to meet my set my higher self and to find true happiness and remember that every time we say this we need to seal it off um, something is happening because <laughs> I have received that card for another sign also so let's see what does the Oracle the wisdom of the Oracle have to say for the Aquarians for the last week of September the moon time for a nap so as I've always done I really 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 love working with these cards and I love reading what they say we have the moon the number 24 which is 6 and 24 and the energy time for a nap rest rejuvenate and renewal temporary non-action allowing dreams to arise this is a time to step away and rest let the cares of the world go 
go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of the shackles of your um, goals your list your desire nothing is important as rest detach and uh, neutralize the overwhelming busy mind can block you from inner wisdom if you don't step back take a seat and rest be willing to let dreams surface ideas flow through you observing by the forces or consciousness direction as you observe without engagement now and this is a wonderful positive message to leave you guys with this week and i'm saying namaste until next week